Dear Kitten, You've probably noticed that there's a new thing in the house. It is called a dog. And I know this because before you, I had a best friend named Peanut. Rest in peace. At first, I assumed Peanut was just a very ugly cat. Charming in his own way, but terrible breath. Awful. So, Kitten, here are some things that you need to know. Dear Kitten, imagine a cat. Now take away independence, cleanliness, and intelligence. What you have left is basically a dog. Here's an example. Yesterday, I saw the dog sitting on his butt, scooching forward with his front paws, and he looked over at me, and you know what he said? He said, check it out, I'm walking on two legs just like the peoples do. <sighs> I mean, that gives you an idea of what we're dealing with here. Dear Kitten, you might see me get a little ninja crazy town now and then. You know, like a... <laughs> Don't get freaked out. I'm just expressing dominance, which is... Oh my, no, you are not good at that. Oof, that was actually worse. It looked like your spine just sneezed. Oh boy. Dear Kitten, you might hear the phrase, a dog is a man's best friend. That is, frankly, incredible marketing on their part. I don't know how they did it. They're certainly not buying ads in the newspaper. I mean, have you seen what they do with newspapers? Trust me, it, it's the opposite of reading, if you know what I mean. I mean, they poop on them. Dear Kitten, the dog is the sort of creature that will decide whether it should put something in its mouth by putting it in its mouth. That's the level of decision-making that goes on. They basically eat everything. Case in point, butt paper. They even eat those weird brown dehydrated pip nuggets that the humans give us. Don't get mad. Let the dog eat all of our dry food. If it gets caught, it gets put in jail. And right then, we can enjoy the moist deliciousness of the can without interruption. It's a gambit. Dear Kitten, you may hear the dog being referred to as a pape, which I think is some sort of a French way of saying puppet. This explains why they attach that string to him from time to time. Worst marionette ever, if you ask me, but the point is if they try to put that string on you, just freeze. You don't want to get into show business, trust me. Dear Kitten, yes, the dog can be cuddly at times. I mean, just today he came over and he started licking the inside of my ears. Was it weird? Yes, but also rather pleasant. Don't judge. When they get happy, stay to the front, because their tails become some sort of a weird psycho furry sword. I mean, I've seen them take the legs right out from under a baby. Dear Kitten, our lives just got a bit more difficult, and alone time will be harder to find. But at least we can rest assured that the humans won't get too lonely during our naps, and perhaps that is enough. That's right, doggy. Bow down.